Welcome back. So we just looked at how the uh, multiplier effect would work in a case where the government decided to build like $100 worth of road, roads and bridges. And we just used 100 You know they'd spend way more, but 100 just makes the math a little bit easier uh, so that you get the concept and not the algebra. Uh, so here's the deal now. We're going to cut taxes. And you should know, oh yeah, to cut taxes is going to move my AD curve just like it is behind my shoulder here. But the difference this time is going to be in the initial change. Cutting taxes is not a shifter of the aggregate demand curve, but cutting taxes does change the behavior of buyers. In particular, if I have a decrease in taxes, I am more likely to go out and consume some products, so that consumption is going to drive my AD curve to the left. No, to the right, to the right. Okay, so here's what we gotta do. We gotta figure out how much are people gonna spend if we give them 100 bucks. Well, the answer to that question is over here. 0.8, which is the marginal propensity to consume. That's how much uh, they will consume out of an extra dollar that they are given. So if we give them 100, how many dollars are they gonna spend out of that 100 if the marginal propensity to consume is 0.8? Some of you may instinctively go 80. The question is how'd you do that? Well, here's how you did it. Right there it is. You took the tax cut and you multiplied by the marginal propensity to consume. It tells you how much they will spend initially. Notice, this initial change is change in consumption. Which is the C right here. So initially your curve changes 80 bucks. Notice this is different. When government spent 100, the initial change was 100. So you're going to get a different total change here. Watch me do this. All right. Uh, so now we go back to the formula we used before. Initial change is 80. The multiplier is still going to be the same. We haven't changed anything there. So we'll go 80 times 5. You should notice our answer now is 400 bucks. But if you see on the graph, I'll go on the other side here. You see on the graph, we had a recessionary gap of 500 that we closed in the last video. It's not going to close this time. It's not going to make it all the way to its potential output at 1,000. It's only going to make it to 900. So really, this tax cut should look more like this. And that's an important thing to know. Um, and it's a very popular question about why does this happen. Well, here the difference is the whole tax cut is not consumed. It is not added to GDP or the aggregate demand curve. Uh, whereas government spending is clearly a component of AD. Um, so you need a bigger tax cut to get the same shift uh, as your government spending. Uh, this is a common question on the AP exam. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, have a great weekend. Stay out of trouble.